name's Nick Herkert. I'm a second year grad student here at the University of Iowa. I, I work in Dr. Kerry Hornbuckle's research lab uh, as part of the Iowa Soup Fund Research Program. I chose to go into environmental engineering because of my childhood and influences from, from my father who has a degree in ecology and uh, he's always steered me down the path of caring about the environment. Um, 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 he always showed us, showed us to care about the environment instead of telling us to care about the environment, which is why I chose to research the impacts we are having on the environment and in turn the impacts the environment has on us. I like to travel. I've been all over Europe. I've been all over the US. Most, most recently I was in Great Britain in the London area. I like visiting these big metropolitan cities and other places. And one that's really near and dear to me is the city of Chicago, which is, which is where my research is based. I researched polychlorinated biphenols, PCBs for short, in the city of Chicago air. PCBs have many known adverse health, health effects, such as effects on the nervous system, the endocrine system, the reproductive system. Uh, and certain PCBs are known to be human carcinogens. PCBs exist still because of manufacturing procedures from the 1930s to um, the 1970s, and there's still legacy sources out there in building materials and transformers and building sealants and stuff like that. And, uh, we recently discovered that PCBs are present in paint as well, and so there is still inadvertent production today. So the passive sampler we use is a design that was created by a group up in Canada. Um, they use a metal housing, and inside the metal housing they use a polyurethane foam disc to uptake the contaminants of concern on them. So one of the drawbacks of using passive sampling methods is you don't have a controlled flow rate. So with the sampler, it's designed to have air, air flow in the sides here and then out the bottom. And um, that flow rate is hard to determine for passive sampling because there's nothing measuring it. So um, we use modeling techniques to determine that sampling volume instead of other methods which are a little more expensive, a little more labor intensive. We use a model um, that uses local weather data for temperature, pressure, wind speed, and a few other parameters to determine a compound specific, site specific time on specific sampling volume. We clean the samples here at the University of Iowa and then we ship them out to the site locations in the city of Chicago where a volunteer site operator will take out the old sample and put in a new sample when the time is right and send it back to us to be analyzed. Uh, the overall goal of my project was to better understand the relationship between the observed concentrations in um, Chicago's air and the interactions that has with Lake Michigan. 